YouTube is pushing shorts harder than ever, but most people get stuck editing for hours or worse yet, not publishing any at all. I figured out how to use AI to edit my YouTube shorts in 12 seconds. No editing timeline, no manual cutting or anything like that. And it looks really good when it's done. Essentially, this took me from dreading shorts, like, oh, here's another thing I have to do for my business to, oh, I can actually get these things published. And please don't ever ask me to edit anything on my phone. I don't know if my thumbs are too big, but I suck at it. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create shorts, reels, TikToks in just seconds, whether you're creating it from scratch or pulling it from a long form piece of content. And we can do this in just a few clicks using a tool called Descript. I started paying for and using Descript in my business two years ago. Then I started showing my private YouTube clients exactly how we do this. And now, thanks to Descript for sponsoring this video so I can show you as well. To start, let me actually edit this short in real time in case you've got some skepticism, which totally makes sense. And then I'll show you exactly step by step how you you can do it so you can apply it. So I'm here in Descript and I just recorded this YouTube short from an idea that I had. And you can see I messed up a couple of times. Want fewer people to watch your podcast. Want fewer people to watch your podcast there. Nobody wants to start with episode 32 of a uh, channel. So you can see I messed up a couple of times, right? And down here in the timeline, you can see there are these big gaps. All right, let's start the clock. All right, stop the clock. Now we can see in the transcript that all of the mistakes were taken out. Down here in the timeline, we can see everything was tightened up really nicely. And then when I play this back, want fewer people to watch your podcast on YouTube? Keep putting the episode number in the title. So I did three things during that 12 seconds, and now I'll walk you through what each one was so you can do this on your own in your own Descript account. And by the way, if you don't already have a Descript account, but you want to start making shorts and reels and TikToks really fast like this, you can go to the special link in the description of this video to try it out for free. It actually gives you a special 30-day free trial of Descript's full paid version. They don't offer this on their website. So scan the QR code on the screen really quick or get the link in the description of this video to set up your account and try it out for free. So what were the three steps? Let me go ahead and undo, undo, undo. So now we're back to our original version. You can see it's a widescreen video, not a vertical short. The errors are still in here again. And first thing I do is I go up here to Underlord and I click Shorten Word Gaps. Now for YouTube, YouTube shorts, I like to tighten things up really nicely. So no big pauses. So I go through and I say, hey, anything that's more than one second, go ahead and shorten it to 0.1 seconds. I hit shorten all. If you look down here at the bottom, you can see it's almost 44 seconds right now. We do that, takes out all the silence. Now we're already down to about 26 seconds. So that was the first thing I did. The second thing I did is also under Underlord and I come up here and I click on remove retake. So I obviously didn't get it right. I mess up all the time when I'm making my videos. So I click on that and I click submit. Takes a couple of seconds and it actually shows you what it takes out here or you can see them taken out over here. And so I came down here and said remove ignored text from script. So when I click that now all of those pieces are gone. Now remove retakes doesn't catch every single edit 100% of the time especially on longer videos but most of the time it does for me and in this one obviously it got everything right. But we're still sitting here with this big widescreen landscape video right? It's not cropped to be a short. We don't have any captions or anything like that. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, I'm going to click on scene and then I'm going to choose a layout. Now I have this custom layout that I built for my business and I'll show you how to make your own here in just a second. But if we come down here to change layout pack, the script has provided a bunch as well. So I could come down here, click on this captions one, say nine more. You can see there are some vertical video ones that are already built in here. And so I could click on that. <laughs> And it does it. And so even without building your own template or layout, as Descript officially calls them, you can do this just with what's built into the script. But when I undo that and instead choose the one that I built, now you can see it's added my logo here at the top. It's also added my captions in brand colors in the exact spot that it fits under my face, but above the graphics that show up on the short form video platforms at the bottom. Now for me, I'm thrilled with this output, but I know some people want to add B-roll and music and all of these other elements. And that's super easy to do as well. Let me show you that really quick before I show you how to make your own layout. So if I wanted to add something more to this, let's start with music. I just put my cursor there at the beginning. I'm going to go to stock and then audio, and then I can type in a search term. Let's say epic. And then let's just click on this plus sign. You can obviously preview all of these and it's importing the audio from the cloud. And I come down here to show the timeline. Let's make that a little bigger. And now it has added this music right there underneath. And there's all kinds of customization that you can do in here if you add music as well. You can click on the music and go to 
layer and turn the volume overall down. Or you can get pretty specific down here in the timeline. So maybe I wanted it to start loud. And then right here, I wanted it to turn down. I can add a volume keyframe and then add another volume keyframe. And so now I have these two dots here and then I can say, okay, here's where I want to start turning it down. And just like that, it will get quieter. So you've got full control over music in here. And by the way, all that music that comes up in search in your account is included as part of your Descript plan. So now we've added music. Maybe we want to have some B-roll footage. So let me look at this. Um, keep putting the episode number in the title. Think about it. This would be a good spot. When somebody comes to YouTube, so I'm going to put a slash in. They're searching for something. I'm going to put a slash in after that line. So what that's done is it's created a new scene over here in the middle. So when somebody comes to YouTube, they're searching for something. Let's put some B-roll over that. So I'm going to go to stock, this time for visuals. And then I'm going to just type in YouTube. Let's see what comes up. All right, so here's somebody that's browsing on YouTube. That looks great. So all I have to do is drag this over here on top of this line, imports it from the cloud in a few seconds, depending on your internet speed. And now it's appeared here. Now, of course, that's a landscape video and this is a short that's vertical. So we just want to drag this up so that it fills the screen. We can also move it back and forth if we want it focused just on that part. And now I see that my captions and my logo have moved to the background, but I come over here to layer. And then this is the layers of everything that's here. So all I have to do is move. I click on this man watching funny, whatever that clip is we chose, drag it down. So that's underneath. And now everything is back on top again. Let me show you another thing that's super easy in Descript compared to some other editing platforms when it comes to shorts. So I'm going to, again, stay in this same scene. I took that other YouTube B-roll off. But in this same scene, I'm going to go to scenes and then in layouts. And I'll show you a little trick up here. You can click on this and you can actually filter. So let's say I only want to see portrait stuff, right? And I'm going to click on one more under media and I'm going to choose this one. So watch what happens. I click on that and it automatically removed my background so I can put this where I want it to go. And it took the logo that was there for some reason and, and dropped it in the background. But I'm going to take that off and I'm going to go back and get that same YouTube clip, drag it into the place here. And now when I play back, watch what happens. So when somebody comes to YouTube, they're searching for something. Nobody wants to start with episode 30. That was actually cooler than I thought it was going to be. So it shrunk me down, had the B-roll in the background, and then had me go back into my regular shot like this. It's just me. Let me know if you thought that was as cool as I did. Or you can just call me a geek because that's totally fine too down in the comments. That's another thing that's really changed for me in creating videos for my business with Descript is that even if I want to get fancier, right, I want to add some B-roll or some other footage in there, I can still make a really nice looking video with all of those extras, the music and everything in like five minutes. Now, there's one more feature you've got to see is that's just kind of crazy, especially if you want to be able to make videos without having to be camera ready. So I'll show you that here in just a second. But as promised, how to make your own layouts or templates in Descript so you can do what I showed you today. So I'll show you three quick ways. First of all, if you design it in here, right, like you drag your logo on the screen, you create your captions, you come up here and you change them to match your brand colors, and you've got it exactly the way you want, you can actually come up here to these three dots and say save scene as new layout, then you would give it a name, then you would add it to one of your layout packs or make one if you don't have one, you can add a category to it. So it's easier to find later if you have a lot of them. And then you can choose whether or not you want to save it with the script or without the script, which basically means do you want to save it with the current video clip in there? Or do you want to save it with a placeholder that then your video will replace? Now, let me show you another way you can save time with this. You can actually come in here and let's say you like the scripts layout packs, but you want to change them to your own brand colors and things like that. You just come up here and click these three dots and say duplicate layout pack. There's layout pack duplicated right here. So I'm going to click on open and now it opens it up and then you can change these to whatever you want. If you click up here, you'll see all of the different ones you can switch to. So for example, if I went to this captions portrait and then here is the text, I could then click on the text, change the font, change the color, whatever I want, then click publish layout pack up here. And then it would be saved however you made it for your own stuff. And then to get back to it from the Descript home screen, you just come down here to layout packs and then you'll see all of your layout packs. There's two tabs, ones that you've shared with people on your team under drive or private. And from the screen is the third way to make them. You can come up here and say new layout pack. Basically opens a project just like a regular project would be, except again, it is a layout pack. That's why it has this tannish oranges bar at the top to let you know. Now, what if you don't want to be on camera or get camera ready, but you've got a really good idea for a YouTube short? The script now has AI avatars. You can come in here and choose a speaker. You can listen to them, select the one that you want. Then you can actually upload a photo of yourself for it to make into the videos. Now, my experience has been they're not quite ready for prime time yet, but these avatars they've already got built in are fantastic. So I choose that. I say assign avatar. And I'm just going to paste in the transcript of the one that I just made. And then you can just type a script for your YouTube short. I'm going to come up here and change this to 
portrait because we are making a short. Now let's see what it looks like. Want fewer people to watch your podcast on YouTube? So it doesn't look like an actual human, but in some ways I feel like that's better. I think in the future with AI, I think people are going to be fine with AI generated stuff as long as they don't feel like they're being tricked. But let me know what you think in the comments. And I feel like we got to try one with an actual photo too. And I can already tell from <laughs> the still here. Want fewer people to watch your podcast on YouTube? Keep putting the episode number in the title. Be honest. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I won't be publishing that version, but we know AI is just going to keep getting better, right? You'll be able to publish more when your shorts only take 12 seconds or a couple of minutes. So again, try the script for free using the link down in the description of this video. Thank you for watching Done by Lunch Entrepreneurs. We'll see you in the next one.